Well, here I am talking to you from the ruins of Bursco Priory, which is a ruin which sits just outside of the market town of Ormskirk, to the north of Liverpool. There's only two columns left of what was a huge structure. Historically, the bell now resides in the church, the, the, the in itself unique church that sits in Ormskirk, well worth a look. So I wanted to talk to you today about our next run of cases, in particular a subject matter case, and in particular it's the case of Re Gole, and the citation for that case is 1965 square brackets, one weekly law reports, page 969. I refer to it as the Tossy case. Why? Well, that's because Mrs. Emma Bridgewater was the relevant individual, the potential beneficiary in the case. She was also, also referred to as Tossy. And why is Tossy important? Well, the testator, in terms of the will, left two things for her. Uh, firstly, the enjoyment of one of my flats during her lifetime and to enjoy a reasonable income from my other properties. So in terms of subject matter, those two elements are important. And Tossie herself is of course important because of the battle for value that we have here is between Tossie on the one hand and the widow on the other. And any uncertainty, any ambiguity that relates to the subject matter, if that can be well-founded ambiguity, it means that perhaps some of that value can be retained by the widow. So first, let's take one of my flats. Well, flats, you might think, well, that's you know, fairly certain, but of course that's, as a species of tangible property, potentially uncertain, because one flat that's on the top floor could be different to one that's on the ground floor. Similarly, reasonable income, we might say at first blush, is uncertain in terms of subject matter. And of course, reasonable income though, as was uh, shown in this case, and in particular by the judgment of Mr. Justice and Goed Thomas, was held to be sufficiently certain. This might surprise you. But he held, did Mr. Justice and Goed Thomas, that, quote, that objective yardstick which the court, which was constantly involved in making such objective assessments, could and would apply in quantifying the amount so that the direction of the will was not defeated by uncertainty. So, in other words, the court could be relied on to determine what was reasonable income at a given time. So, how or why is Rigoli important? Well, for the reason that it tells us that in some instances language that at first blush might appear to be uncertain is in fact certain to make up the subject matter of a trust and also that language or property that we might think is relatively certain namely one of my flats is in fact or can in fact be uncertain. So from the ruins of Bursco Priory I bid you happy reading of Rigole and until our next video, goodbye.